to everyone. Hope you are doing very well in your study. Today's chemistry lesson is about redox reaction. Before I proceed further, please subscribe to John Study Lab channel yeah? because in this channel we provide many free lectures. Before further ado, let's look into our study outline. Our study outline comprises of oxidation and reduction in terms of gain and loss of oxygen, oxidation and reduction in terms of electron transfer, redox reaction, oxidation state, oxidizing agent and reducing agents, color test for oxidizing agent and reducing agent. Oxidation and reduction in terms of gain and loss of oxygen. When a substance gains oxygen in a chemical reaction, it means that it has been oxidized. This is called oxidation reaction. Example, magnesium burns in oxygen to form magnesium oxide means that magnesium gain oxygen in the reaction, so magnesium is oxidized. The loss of oxygen is called reduction. A substance that has lost oxygen is said to be reduced. Example, magnesium react with copper to oxide to produce magnesium oxide and copper. Copper 2 oxide has lost oxygen, so it is reduced. On the other hand, magnesium has gained oxygen, so it has been oxidized. Terminology oxidation is the gain of oxygen loss of electron or increase in oxidation state whereas reductions is the loss of oxygen gain of electron or decrease in oxidation state let's look into another topic oxidation and reduction in term of electron transfer refer to this equation the loss of electron by an atom or ion is called oxidation. Ion lost three electron to form ion three ions. Ion has been oxidized to Fe3 positive. Magnesium is oxidized to magnesium Two positive because it has lost two electron. If particle give away electron, they will become more positive. Their electropositivity will increase. Their oxidation number will increase. The particles are oxidized. The gain of electron by an atom or ion is called reduction. Let's look into example here. Sodium react with chlorine to form sodium chloride. Sodium gives away or loses one electron to become a sodium ion and A positive. Sodium has been oxidized to an A. Sodium from N, A to become an A positive. If chlorine gain one electron to form a chloride ion Cl negative. Chlorine gain one electron and electron to perform Cl negative. Chlorine Cl has been reduced to Cl negative if it is gain one electron. Sodium ion and chloride ion combine to form sodium chloride. So Na positive to Cl. So it's happened in this 
is electron being transferred from A positive and A to Cl. Okay. Let's look into redox reaction. What is happening under redox reaction? So all oxidizing reaction involve reducing reactions. This is because oxidation reaction will produce reduction reaction. Reduction reaction will produce oxidation reaction. A reaction which involves both oxidation and reduction is called redox reaction. This is because oxidation reaction and reduction reaction take place at the same time. So CuO is reduced to Cu. C is oxidized to CO. So both process occur at the same time. So in this reaction, magnesium is oxidized to MgO. And at the same time, H2O is reduced to H2, which is hydrogen. Oxidation state. And oxidation state is meaning that is oxidation number. Is a number given to each atom or iron in a compound to show the degree of oxidation. Oxidation number refers to a single atom or iron in a compound. We have one equation here. Zn plus Cu2 positive to form Zn2 positive plus Cu. So, the oxidation state for Zn is 0. Cu2 positive means that plus 2. And Zn2 positive, the oxidation state is positive 2. And Cu, the oxidation state is 0. And we also show you the process of oxidation. Oxidations, the process of oxidation, that means that the gain of oxygen, okay, from 0 to 2 is the gain of oxygen, loss of electron, or increase in oxidation state. So in this case, it's increase in oxidation state. Whereas in a process of reduction, where the loss of oxygen, gain of electron, or decrease in oxidation state. So from 2 to become 0, this is reduction. KMN04, the manganese atom has an oxidation state of 7. Meaning that it says that KMNO4, the manganese atom, have the oxidation state of 7. So the compound is named potassium manganese V. 7. So, when you will look at this equation, manganese O4 negative, meaning that oxygen have charged ion of negative 2, but it repeated 4 times. So, oxygen negative 2, negative 2, negative 2, negative 2, the total will be negative 8. So, meaning that Mn plus negative 8 become negative 1. So definitely Mn carried the value of oxidation state of 7. So that 7 plus negative 8, it become negative 1. That's why it gives the result, the manganese atom has an oxidation state of positive 7. The second example is NaClO. The chlorine atom has an oxidation state of 5. So the compound is named sodium chloride 5. And A positive plus ClO3 negative to form an ACLO3. So we know that in this case, oxygen is being repeated three times. So oxygen negative 2 occurs three times, means that negative 6. And what's the value of the chlorine? Means that oxidation state for chlorine. When they plus with the oxygen negative 6 become negative 1. So definitely is chlorine 
atom has an oxidation state of 5. So 5 plus negative 6 is become negative 1. Let's look into oxid oxidizing agent and reducing agent. First, we look into oxidizing agent. Oxidizing agent is a substance which oxidizes another substance during a redox reaction. Or in other words, we said that oxidizing agent is a substance that oxidizes another substance by accepting electrons. Reducing agent is a substance that reduces another substance by donating electron. So the reducing agent loses electron and get oxidized. Example, the reaction of zinc with aqua copper, iron, Cu2+. So in this case, zinc is the reducing agent because it reduces copper iron. Zinc gives its electron to the copper iron whose oxidation state decreases. The Cu2 positive iron is the oxidizing agent because it oxidizes zinc. So in this case, Cu is the oxidizing agent. The Cu2 positive ion accepts electron from the zinc atom whose oxidation state increases. The reaction of chlorine with bromide iron so Br negative ion is the reducing agent because it reduces chlorine. Bromide ions give their electron to the chlorine atom whose oxidation state decreases. Chlorine is the oxidizing agent because it oxidizes bromide ions. Chlorine atom accepts electron from bromide ion whose oxidation state is increases. This is a color test for oxidizing agent and reducing agent. First, let's look into test for oxidizing agents. Potassium iodide is a reducing agent which is used to test for many oxidizing agents. When potassium iodide is added to an acidified solution of an oxidizing agent such as hydrogen peroxide, or aqueous chlorine, the solution turns brown because iodine is formed. The reaction of potassium iodide with chlorine, potassium iodide contains the iodide I negative. So let's look into the this is the chemical reaction or chemical equation, and this is actually represent the oxidized oxidation state. So Cl2 have the oxidation state of 0. 2I negative, it has negative 1 oxidation state. And 2Cl1 negative means that it has negative 1 oxidation state. And plus I2 means that it has the oxidation state of 0. The I negative ion is the reducing agent because it a reducing agent because it reduces chlorine. Iodide ion gives the electrons to the chlorine atom whose oxidation state decreases. Chlorine is the oxidized, oxidizing agent because it oxidizes iodide ion. The chlorine atom accepts electron from the iodide ion whose oxidation state is increases. This is a color test for reducing agent. Potassium manganese 7 is an oxidizing agent which is used as a test for reducing agent. When acidified potassium manganese 7 is added to a reducing agent such as zinc or sodium sulfate, it color change from pink purple to colorless. So the reaction of potassium manganese 7 with aqua Fe2 positive ion, the potassium manganese 7 contains the manganese 7 ion which is Mn. O4 negative. So this is actually it shows you the reaction happened and the colorless and the color of the uh, substance. So this is actually the oxidation state. For example, MnO4 negative, as you already know, it consists of oxidation state of seven and five Fe2 
positive is having the oxidation state of 2. And this MN2 positive is consists of the oxidation state of positive 2. And phi Fe3 positive having the oxidation state of positive 3. And 4H2O is having the oxidation state of 0. So potassium manganese 7 is the oxidizing agent because it oxidizes Fe2 positive ion. The MnO4 negative ion accept electron from the Fe2 positive ion whose oxidation state increases from 2 to 3. The Fe2 positive ion is the reducing agent because it reduces potassium manganese 7. Fe2 positive ion gives electron to the MnO4 negative ion and the oxidation state of Mn decreases from 7 to 2. With that being said, I would like you to wish all the best in your study. Hope you are very clear with the presentation of the subject matter. You can get the detail or customized notes by clicking the link at Joom Study Lab Instagram. Last but not least, please press the thumbs up like button and subscribe to Joom Study Lab YouTube channel and follow me at Joom Study Lab Instagram. Thank you very much.